down and then give you this link um, after practice as well, so you can do it again. Okay, so let's begin on hands and knees, four point meal. Yeah, 45 minutes is a good time, so we're just going to get into it. Um, and just to begin, we'll take a little brief child's pose. So pull the hips back towards your heels. You can rest your pelvis back as far as you can. Let your head fall to the floor and your arms stretch out long. And I just want you to take a couple of big, nice deep breaths into the arms, into the spine, the roll back, the rib cage. Really let the body expand with your breath in and empty on the breath out. And then we'll do like a little rolling mini vinyasa. So come up onto hands and knees, pull the body weight up, keep the knees a little wide so they're set the child's pose. And then take a breath in to pull the chest forward between the arms. Take the armpits back down the spine. And then exhale, round the spine, tuck the chin in, and really open behind your shoulder blades. We'll take another inhale to pull forward. Exhale, this time pull back to child's pose, forehead to mat, hips to heels. And then come through your elbows. So your elbows are going to come onto the ground. And then you're going to snake your chest all the way down to the floor and belly down. Hands will drag back by the ribs to take cobra pose. So pull the chest forward, anchor the feet and thighs. And then exhale, lower the forehead to the ground. Tuck your toes, lift your hips and push back up. Round your spine to come back to child's pose. So let's do that again. Inhale, come up onto the hands and knees. Arch the spine, extend the chest forward between the arms to your breath in. Exhale, round the spine, push the floor away. Come back forward, inhale, extend the chest through the arms. Exhale, round the spine, scoop the belly, come back to child's pose. This time, slide down onto your elbows so let the chest lift and then lower everything to the floor. Hands slide back, legs anchor back into the mat, cobra, take a breath. And then exhale, lower the chest to the floor. Tuck your toes, push up onto your knees. And last child's pose, pull your hips back to your heels and forehead to the floor. We'll hold here for a long breath. In. And a steady breath out. Okay, come back up onto the hands and the knees. And then you're going to lower your right forearm and elbow to the floor. And just take your right piece finger, um, your right index finger and thumb, and just wrap around your left wrist. So you've got this little anchor here through the forearm and the left hand. And then take your left toes to the back of the yoga mat. Scoop up through the abdomen. So push the floor away and scoop the abdomen up and into the body and gaze down at the top of the mat. So the neck is long. You'll lift your left leg up and back behind you and then rotate the toes out towards the left. So you feel your left butt cheek, that little crease under the butt, start to cinch and squeeze. Yeah, and then lift up through the edge, the knife edge of the left leg. Continue to scoop up through your abdomen and your belly. And then we're going to hold here, kick the leg away, lengthen the spine forward, and just take little tiny pulses up with the blade edge of your left leg. So you start to feel the glute fire. As you do this, keep the scoop so the lower back stays really strong, the spine stays really rigid. We'll go for three, two, one. Stand your left foot down at the back of the mat and pivot the bottom knee so it comes underneath. Push up onto your right hand. So you're coming to a modified side plank. Right knee under hip. Left leg back of the mat. Big circles. Make a fist with your left hand and circle the left arm across the chest, 
forward to the front of the mat and then open and back. So you get a nice stretch through the side body and the front of the chest here. Lubricating through the shoulder joint. And one more big circle. Hold here with the arm reaching over your head. Big bicep to ear, right ear can drop down and right shoulder, clip it down on your back. One more breath, really stand in your back left leg. And then bring left hand to the floor, pivot everything back to hands and knees and take a breath in, extend the spine forward. Exhale around the spine, tuck the chin. Okay, lower down to left forearm and elbow. Left first finger and thumb wrap around the base of the right wrist. And then take the right leg to the back of the mat. Push down till you scoop up through the abdomen. Lift the right leg and then turn the right toes open to the right. So the crease of your glute starts to squeeze on here at the back of the leg. And then little tiny kicks up through the blade edge of your lifted leg. Continue to scoop up through the abdomen, look forward so the neck is long. And the aim here is to isolate the leg moving in the hip without the whole spine kind of bouncing around. So just make a smaller action if you feel a little bit wobbly. Three, two, one. Stand the back foot down at the back of the mat. Spin your back toes behind you, your left toes. Push up onto your left hand. So shoulder over wrist, knee under hip. Make a fist with the right arm and start to circle over your head, down across the front of the body, up to the spine around. And really push through the sole of your back foot so you get that long reach from foot all the way through to the side body. And bottom shoulder clips onto your back. So wrap the shoulder around to the pinky blade, pinky side of your front hand. So it kind of pulls back. The last one, hold the right arm over your head. Little wrap your glutes. So you press the pelvis forward. One more breath. Right hand to floor, right knee to floor. Little cat cow, chest forward, your head. Exhale around your spine. Okay, tuck your toes, lift knees and hips, downward facing toe. And then just start to walk out through your toes. So really spread them apart on the mat, bend one knee and start to kind of pad through your feet. So you open up through the calves, but also up through the arches and the fascia and the muscles of the feet. And then find stillness here in your downward facing dog. Press the floor forward, down, and away from you, and then pick up underneath the armpits. So you find this little lift up, so there's a little bit more integrity of the shoulders onto your spine, rather than collapsing the armpits to the floor. So we lift up the armpits, we draw the ribs in, and then push the top of the thigh bones up and back. So you get longer from armpit to hip line. Let the head release. Grab the mat of the floor with your hands so you feel strong in the foundation of your, of your fingertips. One more inhale. Long, steady breath out. Okay. And then bring your feet together in downward dog. Lift up high onto the balls of your feet. Right leg will lift up and back on the inhale. Exhale. Pull the right knee under your body to twist. Tap the left elbow at the left, left elbow with your right knee. And then shoot it back up again. Three-legged dog again. Continue to lift up from under the armpits and draw the ribs in. Again, exhale, twist. Left knee, right elbow. One more. Inhale to three-legged down dog. Twist. Right knee, left elbow. Back to three-legged down dog. Take a breath in. This time, pull the knee just in towards the belly button. Lower your right knee to the floor and then pivot back to that modified side plank. So left heel grounds, back knee and shin pull behind you and then left arm looks up. So exactly where we were in the warm-up. Take a full breath in here. 
and stay for the breath out. And then you're going to turn your back toes to face the back of the mat here. So the back toes are going to pivot like they're in a lunge, pointing to the back. And then again, reach up and over your head. Take a breath in. A little bit different. You're going to bring your hands now to face off to the side of the mat. Yes, yeah, so the hands now leaning forward, the chest is over the hands. And then take your left elbow onto your back left thigh and then take a little modified side angle. Yes, yeah, so right knee under the hip, left knee bend, reach the right arm over your ear and wrap the glutes so you get this long extension here. Take a full breath in and a full breath out. Good, hands circle all the way back down to the floor. Walk them around, right hand over the shoulder, left leg extend, and come back to modified side plank. Hold here for a breath. Lift the back left leg, squeeze the knee into the elbow, and then reach it away. Breath in. Exhale, pull, knee to elbow. So we're shortening through the top side. Plank. Inhale, we're lengthening. Exhale, we squeeze the obliques to pull the knee in. Last one, inhale to lengthen. Exhale, squeeze to pull. And then pivot, your left foot is going to step top of the mat and your right foot is going to spin back. Low lunge, reach the arms up to the ceiling. Keep the right glute firm. Pull the left foot to the back knee. And then this time, grab a hold of your right wrist. Lift up and then side bend to the left. So we want to lift up through the right hip, pull up and over, but continue to spin the chest up towards the ceiling. Last breath. And then hands come all the way down to the mat. Step back, downward facing dog. Let's come forward to high plank. Tap the knees to the floor, pull the chest forward, bend the elbows back, lower chaturanga. Roll the shoulders away to scoop the chest up. Take cobra pose. Exhale, lower, tuck your toes, push up to your knees, and then down the face and go. Hold here. Again, grab the mat with the hands, lift up under the armpits, and then push the top of the thighs up and back to get that long stretch through the side of the spine. Feet come together. Left leg lifts up and back, big breath in. Left knee to twist, right elbow, pull it in and under the body. Three-legged dog, inhale. Exhale, pull and twist. Again, smooth breath, meditative breath. Exhale, twist. Last one, up and back. Left knee into the chest, drop the left knee to the floor under the hip, spin the back heel flat and pivot to your modified side plank, shoulder over wrist, knee under hip. Take a full breath in, circle the right arm over your ear. And then you're going to stand on the back foot, so spin the back toes to face the back of your mat, so it's in a little lunge, and then swing your arms around so you come forward over the long edge of your mat, like a tabletop shape. We'll change, right elbow on top of the back, right thigh, modified side angle, we'll sweep the left arm over the head. Keep the glutes strong, and a little press forward of the pelvis to open up the front of the left hip. Last breath. And then you circle all the way back around to find modified side plank, left hand under the shoulder, right leg stands at the back of the mat. Kick, right leg up, take a breath. Exhale, pull, elbow to knee, squeeze the obliques. Two more, reach long, find the wrap of the bottom glute under. Pull, exhale, open the chest. Last one to reach. And squeeze. And then pivot, right foot steps top of the mat, low lunge, reach both arms up above your head. Grab a hold of the left wrist, pull up. Side bend, arm and over to the right. We'll hold here. Again, keep the center of the chest spiraling up and open. Drag the front foot to the back knee. Come back through center, circle the arms down to the mat, step back down the face and dog. 
come forward to high plank. Honor off the knees, lower chaturanga. Either cobra or upward facing dog. Remember, upward dog, the thighs and the pelvis scoop up and off the floor. Downward facing dog, hips go up and back. Take a long breath in and a slow breath out. Okay, walk forward to your hands, top of the mat, forward fold. Halfway lift, press away to find length, forward and out through your spine. And exhale, bow forward over the legs. All the way to rise, right, reach the arms up. And bring the hands to me in prayer. Let's get a little bit more pace, so reach the arms up, inhale. Bend the knees, exhale, bow forward. Halfway lift, again, stretch the spine forward, wrap the shoulder blades together. Hands to the mat, step back, high plank. Arms pull back, chest forward, lower chaturanga. Cobra or upward dog. Downward facing dog. We'll take a long breath. And now, come high to your toes, walk, step, or jump, top of the mat, full forward. Halfway lift to lengthen and bow forward to close. All the way up to rise, push through the legs, engage the legs to lift, and hands to chest. Again, reach up, breathing. Bend the knees, hinge and fold. Halfway lift. Grow the spine forward. Hands to mat, step back, high plank. Lower, chaturanga. Cobra or upward dog. Downward facing dog. Pause here, breath in. And up. Feet together in down dog. Lift right leg up and back, smooth breath in. Pull right knee to left elbow, twist. Three-legged dog, inhale. Right knee pulls into belly button. Lower the knee, modified side plank. Spin the back foot, right hand under the shoulder. Big reach up and over your head, take a breath in. Stay here or lift the bottom knee off the floor and take it to the back of the mat. So two legs to lengthen side plank. Wrap the glutes to press the hips a little forward. Take one more breath in. Stay for the breath out. Good, lower, right knee back down to the floor. We're going to lift up all the way this time to come back to the mat. So bend the back knee, point the toes to the back, and bring your hand now inside the back left foot. Sweep the arm up and over your ear. We're getting a little more into the inner groin. Take a full breath in and stay for your breath out. Let's give it to the back of the mat this time. So move your hands to frame your left foot, spin the back toes, and then downward facing dog, left foot steps back. Come forward to high plank and lower chaturanga. Cobra or up dog, downward facing dog. Same left leg, lift it up and back on the inhale. And pull the left knee tight and curl all the way into the chest. Step the left foot forward, ground your back heel down, and then open all the way up to warrior two. So the left knee is stacked on the angle. The back toes can pivot slightly towards the long edge of the mat or even more towards the, towards the right corner of the mat. So you can soften the back hip to really open up through your left inner thigh. Hold here, take a full breath in. And stay for the breath out. We're lift the arms up above the head. Grab a hold of your left wrist, pull up, and then reverse the warrior, tugging on the left arm. So we have this long lift up and out of the side waist here. Keep the right arm squeezing up and away. So we also continue to lengthen the left and the right side of the body. One more breath. And then come back to warrior two. Reach and reverse, but straighten your front leg. So we draw the left and back. And then come forward, triangle pose. So reach the left arm out. Place the hand on the knee or the shin, and then the right arm directly up to the sky. I want you to again wrap the left hip under and back. 
Let your back right hip slightly pivot down so we get more of a hinge and extension of the spine out over the leg. And now you're welcome to stay here or let the bottom arm float. And the bottom arm might reach up by your ear and match the right arm. So you get this long diagonal pull. We're working the sides of the waist and the obliques. Last big breath. Good. Bend to the front knee. Come all the way back and straighten the left toes. Pivot to the long edge of the mat and then all the way back forward. Hands come to frame your right foot. Step back, downward facing dog. Good. Come forward to high plank. Lower chaturanga. Cobra or upward facing dog. Downward facing dog. So it is getting a little bit of movement around the mat to kind of get the brain away this morning as well. Yeah, it helps to kind of keep our brain switched on. Okay, so legs together and down dog, left leg lifts up and back. Exhale, knee to elbow twist. Inhale, reach the left toes up. Exhale, pull left knee to chest, lower the knee to the floor, modified side plank. So pivot, back foot lands, left hand under the left shoulder. Reach right arm up and over your ear. Hold for a breath. And then stay here or pull the bottom knee up off the floor and take it to the back of the mat. Two straight legs for mod or side plank. Otherwise, stay in modified side plank. Squeeze the glutes, lift the pelvis up away from the floor. Big reach. One more breath. And then you have to lower your knee back down to the floor under your left hip. Lift the torso as you windmill your body up and over to the back of the mat. Right hand will come inside the back right ankle. Modified side angle, reach the left arm over your head to the full breath in. Again, wrap the glutes. And then hands will spin around to frame your left foot. Spin the left toes back, step back, downward facing dog. Come forward to high plank. And lower chaturanga. Cobra or up dog. Downward facing dog. Right leg lifts up and back in the head. Pull the right knee tight and curl into the chest. Step the right foot between your hands. Warrior two. Spin the back heel down and then open up through the torso. So right knee stacks on the ankle. Back toes pivot slightly towards the left corner of your mat. And then you spin the chest to open. Good. Wrap the outer right hip under a little bit so we find that external rotation through the thigh. Lift the arms up. Grab a hold of your right wrist with your left hand. Pull up and then side bend up and back. So we reverse to get this little side bend through the body. Again, remember to continue to pull the bottom left arm as well as the right arm long. So we lengthen through both sides of the waist. Big breath in here. And stay. Come back to warrior two. Straighten the front leg, reach and sweep. Right arm up and back a little bit more. And then we come back upright to triangle. So pull the right hip. In and under as you lengthen the right side waist over, and then hand to knee or shin. Reach the left arm directly up to the ceiling or the sky. And you can pop a little bend behind the right leg, but also focus on pushing the ball of the foot down. This is going to activate the right calf muscle to stabilize your right knee. Yeah, open the chest, lengthen the right side waist forward and out over the right arm. Stay here with the hand on the leg or reach bottom arm by the ear, top arm by the ear, and we lengthen the side body. Now, this won't be as low to the floor. It's really strong on your spine and your core. So you might lift up a little more on the diagonal like I am. One more breath. Bend your front knee, good, warrior two. And then hands lift up as you straighten the leg, pivot your toes all the way back around to face forward to your left foot, downward facing dog, step back. 
come forward to high plank and lower chaturanga. Cobra or upward facing dog. Downward facing dog, hips up and back. Good, take a long breath in. And a steady breath out. We walk back to your feet at the back of the mat, so push the floor away. Bend the knees and come to forward fold. We'll take a halfway lift, press off the legs to grow the spine out. And then exhale, bow forward over your thighs. Then again, halfway lift, inhale. And exhale, bow forward. Good. Roll up to stand nice and slow. All the way through. Reach the arms up above your head. And bring your hands to me in prayer. Okay, and then just turn around so that at the back of the mat now, you're at the front of the new back of your mat. <laughs> and then we're going to lift the right knee all the way up into the chest. So find some strength on that left glute, wrap it under and pick up the front of the left knee. Good. We'll take a moment here just to find stability. Hands can be on your hips or even on the pelvis to feel what's happening. And then shoot the right leg back as you begin to bend your left leg. So you hinge and sit back in the left hip as you kick the right leg all the way back behind you. And then come back up, pull the right knee up into your chest, squeeze it high. And then shoot right leg back, bend the left knee and hinge at the left hip so you sit back into the left heel. Just do one more, inhale to reach up. Stand tall and straight on the left leg, and then hinge and sit back. Take your hands on top of the left leg for a little bit of stability. Hold here, and then bring your hands down to the mat. So you need to bend your left knee a lot to get your hands on the floor. Take the hands slightly forward and out so they're under your shoulders, so that your chest can pull forward over the thumbs, but you can still sit back on the left hip. And then turn the right toes open and out towards the side, like we did in the warm-up, but keep both hands on the ground. Yeah, right toes turn so the glute starts to pull in. And then little tiny kicks up through the blade edge of your right foot. Keep sitting back into the left heel, but also pull the chest forward out over your thumb. So the spine is long. Go for three, two, and one, good. Step back the yoga mat, warrior two. So you might need to set your feet up and then open all the way up to your warrior two. Good, let's reverse. Reach up and back, inhale. We'll come to side angle. So either elbow on your thigh or hand down to the inside of the left foot. Sweep the right arm up and over your ear and then wrap the left glute under and gently press the glutes forward to the front of the pelvis. Big push through the feet and lift up out of the sides of the waist. One more breath. Stay for the exhale. Pivot the toes, spin through wide legged forward fold. So both toes point to the long edge of your mat. Take a halfway lift, grow out of the spine. And then exhale, bend the elbows, pull the elbows back and let the head pull down to the Squeeze up through the top of the kneecaps and the thighs. Balls of the feet press into the floor. One more breath. And fold. Pivot all the way around to face your right foot. We'll keep walking. And then step back, downward facing dog. Come forward to high plank and lower chaturanga. Cobra or upward facing dog. Downward facing dog. Really nice and stay here for a long breath in. And a full breath out. Okay, come forward to high plank. Pivot your toes to the left so your heels spin over to the right. And then lean forward and lift the left arm up. We come back to side plank. You're welcome to stack your feet one on top of the other. Or maybe play with lifting the left leg up. Again, wrap the glutes. One more breath, squeeze the right shoulder down and back. And then foot to the floor, hand to the mat, downward facing dog, hips up and back. 
Well done. Walk back to the back of the yoga mat, all the way to your feet, and then take a halfway lift. Okay. And exhale, bow forward. All the way to stand, roll up through your spine with the arms up. And bring your hands to meet in prayer. Okay, spin around. Second side, stand on the right leg. Lift your left knee up and pause here. So we get that strength standing on the right glute, lifting up through the right hip, wrapping the right glute under. Hands can be on hips or one at the front and back of the pelvis. And then start to kick the left leg back, bend and sit back into your right hip. So you get this hinge as you lean forward with the spine. And then pull the left knee back up, come to stand, engage the right glute. Hinge, spine forward, hip back, leg back, and then come all the way back up. Last one to hold, shoot the left leg back, bring your hands on top of your right thigh, push the arms to straight and scoop up through the belly, and then start to turn the right toes out a little bit, and then bring your hands to the floor. Forgot to get you to bring your hands to the floor. That was me. <laughs> hands to the floor, then spin the left toes out. Pull the chest forward out over the thumbs, but sit back on the right hip. And then take little pulses up, up, up through the blade edge of your left leg. Good. Scoop the belly, pull the spine forward, sit back into your right hip and heel for three. Two, one, hands need to slide back to step back, warrior two, open all the way up and around. Good. Reverse, reach up and back. And then sliding the pose, right hand down on the inside of the right foot, or you can come elbow to thigh, also fine. Push down into your support to lift the spine out and away, and then reach the left arm up and over your ear. You really want to grab the mat with the feet so you feel really strong. Dig the heels down into the floor. Roll the shoulders back onto the upper back. And then wrap the glutes under a little. One more breath. Come all the way back up. Pull the legs to straighten. Pivot your feet. Long edge of the mat, wide leg forward fold. Hands can creep back between the legs, bend the elbows a little bit, and then let the head hang. Press into the balls of your feet, zip up through the kneecaps and the thighs. Ah, let the head drop here, let it go. Really nice, and then come back, pivot all the way back around to face your left toes. Step back, down the face of the dog. Come forward, high plank, and lower chaturanga. Cobra or up dog, and downward facing dog. Take the feet a little wider, and then pivot your heels to the left, so your toes point to the right. Lean forward over the left hand, and then reach the right arm up. You can stay or float, right leg just off the floor. Again, wrap the glute, wrap your left shoulder blade down onto the back, like you're pulling it into your back pocket. One more breath, foot down, hand down, downward facing dog. Take a long breath in and sing breath out. One more inhale, big breath out. Okay, walk forward to your hands, top of the yoga mat. Halfway lift, press away to lengthen the spine. And bow forward over your legs. All the way to roll up. Reach your arms up above your head for a talk. And then bring your hands to meet center of your chest. Okay, we've got one final balance. So we'll stand on the left leg to begin. Draw the right knee back up into your chest. And then start to hinge back, sit back into the left heel as you shoot the right leg back behind you. Now take your hands on top of your left thigh bone, 
push away the swoop through the belly. And then like we did before on that other side, without taking your hands to the ground, can you turn your right toes out and kick up through the blade edge of your right foot? And then slowly take your left hand down and forward onto the floor, under the shoulder, and then open the right arm up for half moon. So we still find this little sit back in the left heel. So the left leg might be bent. Kick up through the blade edge of the lifted leg so the glute is firm. Scoop the belly and then find length through the underneath side of the waist. So pull the chest out and forward, almost over that front foot and hand. Open up through the top arm, kick the blade edge of the back foot up and away, and then sit back in the standing heel. So all of that work, side body, opening the hips, strengthening the glutes, all coming into play here. Half moon, take one more breath, really expand and reach everything out from the center. And then bend both the knees and step top of the mat, curl everything in and forward fold. Good. Slow and steady roll up through your rounded spine. So let the heavy, heavy scoop the belly and slowly pull your body up to stand. Nice. Okay, last side. Stand on the right leg. Find your balance first. Lift, left knee up, firm the right foot under. And then start to hinge, sit back in the right heel and hip as you reach the left leg directly back. Now take your hands on top of your right thigh, scoop through the belly, so push the thigh away, find a scoop and lift. And then without taking your hands to the floor, can you turn your left toes open? So you squeeze at that glute and hamstring connection point. Lift up through the blade edge of your foot, and then start to take your right hand forward and down underneath the right shoulder. Continue to sit back in your right heel, firm the glute and the hamstring here of the lifted leg. Scoop the belly, but then open up through the left arm. And then the gaze can stay down for balance. Pull the chest forward and out over your foot and your hand. So you find this long length through your spine. You might play straight in the bottom leg a little bit. Otherwise, if it helps you to balance, keep a little bend and sit back into the heel and the hip. Good. Half moon. Let everything lift up and out of the waist. Like the side plank here in the body. One more big breath in. And then bend your knees, everything comes to stand, forward fold, top of the yoga mat. Take a halfway lift and lengthen the spine. And exhale, half forward. I'll get you to take your hands and grab around the back of the calves, or the ankles rather, and then just pull and round your spine. So you grab on the back, or you gently scoop through the abdomen, let the head fall heavy. And then feel this opening through your lower back, your shoulder blades. You can even just give your shoulders a little kind of upper back, a little sheen here, just to stretch out a little that fascia. And then soften and release. Roll up through your spine nice and slow. Sweep the arms up, deep breath in. And then hands come back, interlace them with the lower back. Roll the shoulders back, open the chest, and then bend the knees and take a forward fold. Let the arms pull out and away. Let the head nod a little bit to release any neck tension. Pull the arms out, up and over. Shift the weight into the balls of the feet. One more breath. And then release your hands to the floor. Slowly lower, how you need to come to sit. Really great. And then grab behind your knees, pull back off the legs and begin to roll down through your spine, through your knees, into your chest as you arrive and give you a little squeeze. <clears throat> Hope you're feeling warm. We've done lots of movement around the mat, brain is awake, body is awake, everything's alive. 
Okay, and we'll take a twist, tug right knee in, left leg long. Gentle twist up and over to the left. And then keep the right shoulder blade nice and heavy towards the floor. We've got a glute stability and that half moon, so let the hip soften and let the glutes release here. And the body breathe. Okay, come back to center. And we'll swap, hug the left knee in, right leg long, and then take a twist up and over to the right, left shoulder blade heavy. And let the body start to slow, the breath start to deepen. And then you can close your eyes. Nice, and then come back to center, take a little happy baby, you might just grab behind the knees. You're welcome to grab the inner or outer edges of the feet. Neck long, pelvis anchors down towards the floor. Grab the hips, soften. Let the belly really swell between the thighs. And then we'll slowly come into your Shavasana. We'll just take a little moment here. Maybe you want to take longer this morning and you can just stay as you are. Otherwise, we'll take a moment together, neck long, arms and legs wide, shoulders full. Close the eyes. And like I said, you're welcome to stay a little bit longer. Take as long as you need in your Shavasana. <laughs> 